Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IQA tech tip on qPCR. Traditionally, mold sampling was done by either microscopy or culture. Microscopy has a limitation that identification can rarely be down to the species level just using a microscope. Culture methods are time consuming and not all species will grow on the nutrient agar selected. In today's tech tip video, I'll describe a relatively new method for laboratory analysis called qPCR. QPCR stands for Quantitative Polymerase Chain Reaction. In this short video, I'll only be scratching the surface as the theory and mechanisms behind this testing method requires extensive knowledge. QPCR is a laboratory-based testing method which can identify fungi such as mold to the species level. It can also be used to determine how many cells of each species are in a sample, which is why it's called quantitative PCR. Well, how does it work? qPCR is a genetic-based testing method. It looks for species-specific sequences of DNA in your sample. If there's a DNA match, the results are given in cell equivalents, which is different than the units given by other methods such as spores or colony-forming units. qPCR is a quick and accurate way to determine what is in a sample. However, it does have some drawbacks. A large drawback is that qPCR will only look for what you tell it to look for. A sample could be loaded with a single species, but if you don't have the lab target that specific species, you'll get a result of zero. Another drawback is that qPCR is relatively expensive. qPCR is very useful when you need to know if a specific species is present, and you need a quick and accurate analysis. QPCR can be useful when investigating medical conditions such as fungal infections or when a court case hinges on the exact species present. Talk to your laboratory about sample collection methods, but options include air samples, surface samples, bulk samples, and dust samples. You'll likely need specialized filter cassettes for your sampling. If you'd like to learn more about sampling for mold, consider taking classes in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.